Hey, what's going on, Sexy Sandlander Squad? We got a new god first look. This god's name is Ishtar. Hold on, I get the voice back. Ishtar. And I also have the skin, obviously. This one doesn't say anything. I'll use the normal skin, though, so we can get the full effect of Ishtar. And uh, she's a hunter. Kind of role-playing as an assassin, based on what I've seen in the first look. Let me run through her abilities real quick, as I always do. I'll run in there, and I'll pause, and I'll hit you guys with the, uh, the rundown. If you already know what Ishtar is, or what she does, then you can skip this part. But, for those who don't know, I'm going to hit it for you real quick. Super speedy. So, when she drops below 75% health, the person that did the most damage to her with those... With that, um, the damage that dropped her below 75% health, she will get attack speed whenever she hits that person up to a maximum of 20% attack speed. When she kills that person, if she kills that person, that 20% attack speed changes to 20% movement speed. So that's her passive. Um, really good for 1v1s, obviously. Then her one is a three-parter. It's imbue arrow giving her one of three things. Number one, it gives her a lob error or like like a Sylvanas auto attack. It can go over walls. So uh, you can use it to chase somebody that jumps over walls and still land an auto attack, which is pretty insane. Uh, the second one is a cone of five arrows. Uh, the first one, the middle arrow will still do your normal basic attack damage. The other arrows will do less. The third option for the one is basically Hachiman auto attacks for eight seconds. They have 20% faster projectile speed and lower damage, but that's that's her one. Congratulations, you now know. Her two, Rolling Thunder. It hits four times, starting from either out where you're aiming or in where you're aiming. There's only two starting points. You can't aim it in the middle. Um, if you start where your feet are, it will go out four ones. And if you start where it is all the way out, it comes to you. Four little, uh, well, they're not really little, but four thunder strikes. They're lightning strikes, but it's called rolling thunder. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, they kind of overlap. If you hit one person two times with an overlapping uh, lightning strike, it will mez them. The three, <coughs> excuse me. The three is your dash. It's your movement ability as it is on every god that's released. There's always a movement ability. This one is a bit weird. It's a dash forward, but then if you hit an enemy god, yeah, it doesn't count on minions. But if you hit an enemy god, you attach to them, backflip off of them while exploding them, and shoot them twice. So it's pretty nuts. It's pretty awesome. Uh, the scaling and the damage on it is very, very high. And as you can see right there, it has charge damage up to 240. And then your arrow damage, which is basically your... The damage that you basic attack with does 110% of your normal basic attack auto plus additional damage on top. And the cool thing of this, not only do you dash someone, blow them up and land where you dashed from. So you're not in the, the midst of the fight. The, the auto attack you do while you're back flipping can crit. It, it applies auto attack effects. So like kins, crits, lifesteal, everything. Pretty insane. And the ultimate... The, the last th coolest thing, basically, is she, kind of like her cone in her auto attack, you now get a cone of swords, and it's a lot bigger of a cone. You send them out, and whenever you send them out, if it hits somebody, it cripples them. And then, if you hit that person when they come back, because they send out and they return, and by the way, you can control when they return, so you could, like, choo -choo, super quick. But, um... When you send it out, it cripples, and when you return, it stuns for one second, which is pretty great. And it's kind of like old Ratatasker too. I don't know if a lot of people understand that reference where you press an ability and you could like whatever. When you throw your alt, if even if you dash or you run away or something, it will come back towards you. It won't land, it won't go back to the position where you threw the alt. It will go to where you are. So you can make some really cool maneuverability plays with it. And uh, that's basically the gist of the character. But obviously, it won't make that much sense to you. 
until we get into the game. So let's hit it up. Oh, there's no more starter items in Duel, by the way. I hope you guys enjoy that that decision. Um, I'm going to just go Transcendence with a Chalice. And I'll go this. And then I'll go one point in every ability. I don't think this is the right play, but I'll do it for you guys. Now, as you can see here, when I press 1, my abilities change to the Lob, the Arrow, or the, like, Hachiman Autos. And uh, obviously, I can just cancel that by, by right-clicking. My 2... Let me make sure I do this on uh, quick cast so that I'll, I'll keep that on instant. But you can see here the targeter right here. I go close and it goes outward. Um, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. You can see my um, my damage doesn't seem to be that high right now. But I mean, she's Louise. It's loud my gosh all right so i'm gonna try does this go through all minions no it doesn't i wish i didn't use it now that's okay and this i assume i'll send it this way i'll dash through i'm gonna use the one the lob auto attack because it is aoe just like sylvanas's is so that's gonna be probably the way i clear wave my two does decent damage but it's not like good damage it's it's i think it's just that it's just decent the lob autos are quite good okay almost died there i'm actually chilling though i'm actually chilling though now if i remember this this uh map it should be the red buff spawns at the two minute mark i believe by the way, your auto attacks actually get more damage when you use the lob. So I think it's worth using the lob really often. But I I could be wrong. I mean, I know it gets more damage. That's guaranteed. I'm not wrong about that. But I could be wrong about using it the most often one. The, the spread shot is good. But I think it's only good... If you, uh, hold on. It's only good if you have a lot of damage already, I think. Like, using it now is almost useless, I feel. Oh, I almost got it. Okay, here's the dash. Oh, it's so cool, dude. All right. I want to show you guys this burst that you can do. So, hold on. Oh, my auto attack's not working. My button. No, please. Oh, I fucked up. Big shell, big shell. All right. He's doing numbies. Oh, I can get my transcendence too. I'm just using my oh my god I'm just using my longer range autos because i didn't expect him to get aggro on me there that was a good mess wonder if he's gonna invade this yep i can probably kill him Oh, okay, I fucked up. I fucked up so bad. I need instant casting again. Holy crap. That was horrible. I really want to pull this off, though. I need to go quick cast on that and quick cast on my dash because I don't know the ranges of things yet, which is a bit weird. I also don't... I really thought I would like the two more, but I don't love the two, honestly. I really feel like the two doesn't do enough damage. Only 120, and that's your wave clear ability? Eh. I feel like the lob autos is much better for wave clear. Mm. 
Oh god, he's already got tier 2 defense. Alright, he's going for red buff. I'm gonna just go for these uh, XP camp right here. I guess he went for red. I mean, I know he went for red. I said it, but I really didn't think it would spawn that fast. Is your blue up? No. This is the dash, by the way. This is how it looks. And this is the alt. It's a pretty far ranged alt. It's not bad at all. I guess he got... Yeah, he finished his breastplate online. He finished it. I'm going to go Aussie next. He's probably just going to go Divine. What? How much damage does this do? 51? That's the highest scaling ability you have, actually. I don't like maxing the two. I'll be honest. Hmm. It's weird. But I don't like it. I mean, I'm 100 gold off. Whatever. I'll just clear this one more wave. I'll clear this wave, and then I'll be fine. I hope. Alright, he got my blue, but I got my Aussie online. I could go Kins, but I do think Aussie is going to be more important. I thought the dash... By the way, when I first ulted, I thought that dash was going to be a bit faster. But it's kind of slow, honestly. It's kind of a slow dash. But it does so much damage, I mean. Can't really be upset about it. All right, I've been taunted. Well, imagine landing auto attacks. Could not be me. Oh my gosh. Hmm. I love that challenge. It's for cowards. I'm pretty sure I will die here. My damage on my, my alt 3 combo was insane, by the way. Literally a uh, 600 damage burst almost. Oh, damn. You want that buff? Holy shit, he does a lot of damage. Hmm. Where did he go? Oh, you have the AoE effect on your lifesteal when you use the lob. Which I guess makes sense when I say it out loud, but it didn't even occur to me. I think I need to use my two if I want lifesteal. I will say, I wish you could see the scaling on your abilities when you press 1. Oh, you can here. Alright, he gets my blue. Oh my god. All 
All right, I did get a stun there. Damn, dude. Too much damage. Too much damage. Holy shit. I don't know. I really thought my burst would be much higher than it actually is right now. Well, that actually does do damage to minions, huh? It doesn't do a lot, though. It's just the basic charge damage. Um... I might be able to get right here. I did get red. And I'm going to get my... My Shogun's going into a Kins. With a little bit of defense, I'm hoping maybe I can do something. But I don't know, man. I'm really far behind at the moment. Where you at? Doing Bull Demon, probably. Oh, you gain a lot of attack speed on that... Uh, that three. When you empower your autos with your one. You gain 40% attack speed. You lose 20% damage. Hmm. Interesting. I think he is doing bold demon. I think I just heard him there. Oh no, there he is. Like that's completely maxed and it did less than 150 damage. I did 158 damage with the double hit. The two seems extremely underwhelming. It seems very, very lame. Which is unfortunate because I was really looking forward to that actually. Red buff's not coming up yet, so I'm chilling in that regard. Okay. He showed up here. I think I want my kins before I try to do any damage to him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez, dude, he hit me with one tick. One tick of damage. Gosh. Literally just taking so much damage and I do nothing. I actually deal no damage, I feel like. And I hit 13 autos that fight for less than 1,100. With Transcendence, by the way. I don't know. That seems super weird. And my alt 3 combo did 500. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting because I feel like the way that her kit is, she should be so good at fighting. But my autos just aren't hitting that hard.
What are the odds I'm allowed my speed buff? Oh, nice. I am allowed it. And soul gem. definitely seemed much better oh he's ulting he has a lot of healing though can I get kins with 24 no I can't he's desperately trying to get that Phoenix down I guess probably before I get kins online but I'm I'm kind of thinking I want Toxic Blade first. A new weapon for me. Uh, he only has Soul Gem. I don't know what the changes are to the items, by the way. For this patch. So, I'm sure there's something I'm missing. lagged out. Oh, that was good. Oh, I wonder if I could get Griffin Wing with her one. Oh my god. God. Okay, wait a second. Okay, my when you have the three or the one fully maxed out and you use the uh the spread shot close distance. That that was kind of a lot, man. That was kind of a lot. Also worth noting, by the way, that they did mention um, during the God reveal that... Oh, God, sorry. I can't hear myself think when I'm auto-attacking. Is you can't use any form of the auto-attacks, like any auto-attack stim, while hitting tower. Doesn't work. All right, so the one when I use the uh, the scatter shot is actually very good at max rank. When you when you get the extra ten percent, <clears throat> excuse me, when you get the extra ten percent basic attack damage, because that means when you're like barrel stuffing, basically, you get an extra forty percent damage on your auto attacks, assuming you hit all four. Oh, I did not want to do that one. I really did not want my lob to go off there. I much preferred my... My arrow type one. I have so much gold in hand right now. I wonder if he's going to go for the for the tower here. I want my next item to be Toxic Blade because I do feel like he's healing just a bit too much. And then I'll go Ferocious. 
And then I will upgrade this to the fortifying shell. And now I feel like... I don't know if it's because... I feel like my scaling has finally come online or if I'm just a hunter. But I feel like I could maybe win a fight now. Yeah, I mean, that was definitely pretty good damage. Oh, that hit me. Yeah, baby. There it is. I told you, man. When you get the... Uh, when you get the other one... What is it called? The spread shot and you get close. That's doing a lot. Oh my god, this is about to come up. Does the spread shot work on Titan? It does. Okay. Quite a lot of damage. Alright, we got the Phoenix again. We almost got the Titan killed. By the way, for those wondering, uh, J2B is basically, he's a GM dueler. I mean, he's, it's interesting because he hasn't actually played, uh, I mean, he's got 3000 MMR in duel before, but it was late in the wipe. So he didn't actually get GM, but, um. I mean, I've played against him, and he's much better than most GM duelers. <laughs> so, in my eyes, he is a GM dueler. So, I have a pretty hard competition here. I can't help but think my build is wrong, though. Like, I, I like the build, but only late game. I feel like you could build her a lot more power forward and just use um like the alt and the three for everything oh that was close that was super close bro my a just did 373 damage to him Oh my gosh. Aegis OP. And that should be game, I think. That's absolutely game. All right. So, with that game being done, let's get to the final thoughts. I... I like her kit design a lot. Actually, actually, I love her kit design. I think the alt three combo is very, very good. Um, I think the two sucks. Like, just straight up. I think it's not worth leveling. I think it's not worth having in her kit. I don't think I've ever said that in any first look video ever. But if you look at the damage, I mean, it's a it's 120 damage and it's 40% of your scaling. So it's like 150 damage tops, pretty much. And it's just not going to do anything. It might help in the terms of chasing someone, but a 0.75 second Mez isn't really going to catch you up. And not to mention the 15 second cooldown on that bad boy. Like, let's compare the two. They both have 15% cooldown, or 15 second cooldowns. This one has 240 damage plus 60% power, plus... Your 110% of your basic attack damage plus 60 extra damage on top of it. Like, this does so much damage. And this does absolutely nothing. Like, even the base damage of the charge is twice as much as the Rolling Thunder. Now, I understand that it's per strike, right? And there's four strikes. I get that. But you're only ever hitting two maximum because of the fact that... Um, it messes them if a second one hits. So you're only ever going to hit two of them, period. Which means it's the same damage as this, pretty much. And it's just so bad for clearing. 
Like I found so much more success using my Im imbue arrow and getting um you and using the volley or not the volley, I'm sorry, the lobbed explosive shot because you get more damage on your lobbed explosive shot and you can hit the front line or the back line. The three I think the passive is really good. I actually felt the attack speed early game when we were fighting. So I actually really like the passive. It's quite good. The um, And I felt it in those late game fights when I was just uh, arrow volleying him super close range. The three is amazing. I love the three. Not only how it feels, but the amount of damage you're doing and the fact that you have like iframes in the air if you hit them. Could help you avoid something like a Ymir ult, for instance. You know? It it seems really good. And then the combo you can do with Blades of Retribution into the three. I mean, that combo just pumps numbies. It was pretty much the only thing that kept me in the game. Because I was losing really hard that game for a while. Um, But with this combo doing upwards of six to 700 damage every time I used it, it was able to fend him off just long enough for me to get some items online. So it's very, very good. I actually really like it. And uh, I want to hear what you guys think of Ishtar. I think her kit is a 4 out of 5. It's an 80%. The 2 is useless in my book. Um, but I would love to hear what you guys think. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.